Well, it's the first match of the day where we have had a seed actually win on court one. And uh, next up here in the men's singles, the fifth match of the day. So no seeds on courts. Lizzie Jia of Malaysia takes on China's Liu Guangzhou. So, Lin Chun Yi with a stunning win over Anthony Sinisuka Ginting earlier. He will play the winner of Tao Jinpeng and Rasmus Kemke, but further up that draw, the winner of Li and Lu takes on either Kenta Nishimoto or Kudlovut Vititsan, the world champion, fourth seed. So Li Zijia and Lu Guangzhou, they've met four times with Li winning three of the four. It's had a very up and down time, hasn't he, Li Zijia? to try and turn that around. Hey! Lu Guangzhou, of course, will have that home support. She's been uh, playing a big role here, of course. Hey! So we start with uh, Li Zijia, 25 years of age. She's from the north of Malaysia in Kadar. 186 centimeters tall, six foot one or so. Is currently 11th in the world. And uh, well, just over a year ago, he was number two. Last year's Asian champion. He has beaten Ng Tseyong, his compatriot, in three. Those two have been Having a real old tussle to see who's the top Malaysian player this year. That took 75 minutes. Of course, he famously won the All England. He's got four titles to his name. That was when he won the Arctic Open as well, when he beating Ng Tse Yong in that final, the Super 500. And he won, as I mentioned, All England in 2021. Liu Guang Tzu is... Uh, 178 centimeters tall, 27 years of age from Jiangsu. He's 16th in the world. He's hit 10th at the start of this year. Asian Championships in Dubai, he finished third. Beats Katapon Wancharun in just under an hour in straight games. In terms of titles, he's won two on the world tour. Most recently it was 2018, in fact, it's been a long time. Canada Open as well. And he was runner-up at the China Open, his home tournament, a few months ago. Intriguing fixture, this one. Yeah, I do think the crowd's going to have to play a big part in this, because I do think if... We see Li Zijia of recent, he's been playing incredibly well. Manfred Schum is our umpire, and then the line judge is David Graf von Schwerin of Austria. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Li Zijia, Malaysia. And on my left, Lu Guangzhou, China. 
An easy job to serve. Level. Play. Interesting to see again now uh, whether Luke Wang Tu wants this end and gets aggressive on it. Positive start to the match from Yu Guangzhou. Two very good points to start with. Aggressive start to the match. And that's what you want to see. Entertainment as far as the crowd's concerned. talking over the last uh, week or so, Chris, about players and having coaches or not having coaches, as the case may be, and this man here has kind of flitted between the two, hasn't he? Yep, and it looks, over the recent uh, tournaments that he's played, things are starting to come together for him. Obviously, the winner of the Arctic Open, incredible performance in the final there and throughout the whole tournament. Now, interestingly, he was... Yeah, he, he looked at the umpire very early on in that rally to say there was a touch from Lou. Double touch, maybe, I think he was referring to. Anyway, he won the point. So you feel he may have started to turn a corner, Lizzy Jia? I think so, because if you think back to Indonesian Open, he was disheartened player in regards yeah. to, you know, he'd lost, I think, the love of the game and the desire and the hunger. Oh, he took a break, didn't he? He did, he took a break. But for me, there was no question about his ability. Three, mm. It was more record, the, let's say, the mental side of the game. Yeah. Did he fully believe in himself? Was he happy with his current situation, in his setup? And I think he's got things a little bit more organised, sorted, and he's got his hunger, his desire back, and, you know, he, He's a fantastic player, no doubt about it. Final of Danish Open, he's, he's back at that level and he's got himself up to 11 in the world. What, what did you feel? Because that, that break, um, it Three, got two. Uh, support, it got a lot of com uh, criticism, but sometimes you just do need to step away, don't you? But this is the thing, every player is different, every person is different, and the integral thing is finding what is correct for them. Yeah. Now, I think it, it, his comments slightly got taken out of context because mm. I think he, he did say, I think people were, were scared he was going to actually stop. Oh, quit? Yeah, ah. which, which obviously caused a lot of controversy because he's a, he's a big fan favourite and, and a phenomenal player. I think he, he only had a short period of time off. But maybe just to clear his mind, reset, start again, make sure he, he was happy with everything that was going on in his setup because, yeah. you know... He's gone independent, he's doing everything he wants to do, which is a big, difficult, complicated thing. But it's making sure he's doing everything correct to enhance his performance. Yes. When you're independent, you have all these decisions to make, which on one hand is great, but the other hand, very complicated. It's a lot more than you would normally have to yeah, do, right? definitely. Matched at the start. 
由来自新加坡的徐永海、陈慧涵，配成来自韩国的徐正才、蔡永斌。Lovely cross court smash there from Luke Wang Tu. Yeah, Luke Wang Tu definitely read the clear, and the clear quality wasn't quite good enough. Fraction short. There from Lee Zi Jia right at Lu Guang Tu. Yeah, and when he has that chance, the explosive power mm. he creates almost from nothing. Yeah, the build up is quite incredible. There, Lizzy Jar taking charge of that rally, stepping up there. It's such a high base, just pressure, bracket ready, easy put away. We talk about that explosive power from Lizzy Jar. In theory, that would you feel that he would enjoy this nearer end in the next game? I mean, it's it's Difficult to analyze exactly because you could say his physical power is so extreme that he can deal with going into the wind. Right. But then on the flip side. Oh, so he might carry it too much if he's. Well, that's the, the only thing. Can he control it well enough that mm. he's obviously got his own phenomenal power and then mm. the drift as well? But, you know, he's, he's an elite player. I'm sure he's going to be fine both ends. Because th there is definitely a drift, but I wouldn't say it's too extreme. Uh, and you felt as in yesterday, it was a, a, a bit fraction more, more it? yesterday, yeah. yeah. Also sideways, when you have a forward and back and sideways, it does complicate things. <laughs> there is there is definitely a drift today, but I'd say it's a little bit less than, than what we were experiencing yesterday, just a little bit. Oh, he's done well. That's the thing. He did do incredibly well in defense, but he just couldn't quite get that one away. With physical speed and power there. He's so quick and he's even he's off balance, but he can still generate so much power. Easy job. Yeah. Grown from the crowd, and he is. He's such an empowering figure, and and the threat when he gets up, you can see his opponent just tense up a fraction just when he gets up to hit any kind of overhead.
子后场也不错啊。So Lu Zijia takes the lead here, very comfortable one, five points ahead of Lu Guangzhou in game one. That a little bit late, uh, Luke. Well, seven. Yeah, he's got his footwork a little bit mixed up. Then the indecision, he knew it was clearly going in. Good so far from Lizzie Jia. Yeah, length so far from Lizzie Jia has been very, very impressive. One or two shots fractionally short, but all the others, fantastic depth. 14, 7. Lee's just growing now with that cheap mistake from Yu Guangzhou. hit that one it was such a good block before and he worked the rally so well to set up the opportunity mm. and in his career Lizzie Jiao's played 52 second round matches he's won 36 of them that's two of his last four and then losing to Li Shi Feng, French Open, in his last match. That's for Lu, who's played 52 first round, second round matches as well. Won 30 of them, lost 22, so relatively similar. Lu Guangzhou charges. It's a challenge here from the Chinese shuttler. Charge unsuccessful. One charge remaining. Easy shot. Eight. Definitely does have control of this first game so far. It's definitely not over there. Anything can change, but he's dictating Wait. the rally, controlling the speed of it. And when he gets the opportunity, showing how dangerous he is on the attack. What? 
so the soldier. Nine, sixteen. And Lee's yeah. yeah. taking charge, Stop taking the soul. shuttle early. He's Seven controlling team. the pace of the rally. Lee Guang Zhu, he's kind of chasing the majority yeah. of the points, and he has got a good defence, but... What does he need to do for you? He's got to take charge of the points. He's got to try and control them. He's got to unsettle Lee Zhu at the moment, which isn't really happening. Thing is now the score is it's too far, is it? It's a, it's a big lead. A few mis cheap uh, mistakes are sneaking in in this latter part of the the game. Oh, it's a good run here from Lizzie Jia. And the crowd is set. Uh, it's very quiet, I have to say. They're probably the quietest all day. I mean, it's hard. It's hard for them to cheer anything just because Nine. it's a bit of a masterclass. Liu Guang Zhu's got to try and change the pace or inject something into it because at the moment, Li Zijia's just too comfortable. He's he's almost in third gear, as it were, just going through the motions. And when he gets right. the attack, he's on balance, in a good position, comfortable, and doing whatever he wants. You mentioned that. Uh, we met at the Malaysia Masters in May. Lucy Jia won that 21-12, 21-19. Australia Open a year and a half ago. Liu Kong Ju, sorry, a year ago, I should say, not a year and a half ago. Liu Kong Ju won that in three. So oh. most recent meetings. Oh, that, you talked about explosive. I think that's the right word, isn't it? Game point nine. Look at that, 11 game points. For Lizzie Jia, I'm not sure. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be this dominant in the first game. Number 11 versus number 16 in the world. Not a murmur from the crowd, but ten. well, he's ten points away. The thing is, almost every rally, Li Zhi is not really stretched, not out of position, not troubled, mm. doesn't look flustered. He just looks very calm and composed, and Lu Guang Zhu is just not doing enough. Look at that. It's a fantastic way to finish off this first game. Li Zhi 21-10, authoritative. It's about as dominant a first game as we've seen today. Sachi, 20 seconds. Caught 
second game, level play. Now, let's see uh, Liu Guang Tzu if he prefers being uh, at the other One. end, going into the bit of drift coming from uh, where Lizzy Jiar is. At the lights. It's the thing now, the first two rallies. He just pointed up. He yeah. pointed to the coach, he pointed up. Just maybe lost it in the light. TV light's always tricky because they're obviously bright and mm. the shuttle goes directly in it. You can just lose it for a, you know, one second and it's hard to then get your timing back. <laughs> He's definitely trying to take charge, Yu Guangzhou, in this one, second game. Two. Now, just a little uh, hiccup on the progress here of Li Zijia. I mean, right now, just the way things are going, Chris, he needs all the help he can get, right, Lu Guangzhou? Yeah, it's, it's a, a definite uphill battle just because we're seeing the, the, you know, the real Li Zijia. We're seeing a player who is one of the best in the world on his day when he performs to a, his best. He's so good. Coagulation. Just a little bit of blood. Yeah, it's on that finger, right? Yeah, but if it's coagulation, it will stop the blood. If it's a coagulation spray. No plaster. She's given plaster. Helps when you can speak the language as well. I'm surprised that wasn't done earlier. <laughs> Chris would have gone straight into it and, of course, talked to the medic and asked him in Mandarin. But the, the finger, when that grazes on the, the floor, that's... Tell us, have you, I mean, you, you must have had that yeah, loads I mean, of times. The, the difficult thing is, some, half the time, you wouldn't know you, ah. if there's a tiny bit of blood, just because, yeah, there. Oh, right, there it is. Yeah, okay. it just caught the floor and... Obviously, it's the, it's the rules, we can't have any uh, blood. any blood, you yeah. know. So we all understand it's just getting a plaster or getting something A to stop the blood and B to stay on. Yeah. It's not straightforward because obviously your finger's bending. So if you're trying to put something on something that's bending and also he's sweating. Yes. And also it can Keep make on you, it, right? Well, stay yeah, on it. it can make it feel a little bit uncomfortable Comfortable. possibly on the grip and holding the racket. And that, does that stop playing in the mind as well? <laughs> yes and no. I mean, it can just be annoying that hopefully the, the blood stops almost straight away and you can take it off if it is something that is frustrating you. Obviously now it's quite a big delay. Yeah. So it's so important for both players refocus as soon as we restart. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Like, okay, let's put it from both points of view. Lizzy Jar, he's got no choice now. He's got to get that treatment. Here we go again. When we just have a look at how he's grazed it. If you're Lu Guang too, I mean, do you do you try to stay warm? Do you what, what do you what do you what's well, going is, through your mind? This is the difficult thing because there's two ways of thinking about it. Lu Guangzhou he could be thinking overthinking. You know, he's ah. because he's got so much time now that he's got ten things going through his head. He's trying to. He's not meaning to, but he's overthinking about everything. He's thinking about the score. He's thinking about he's down in this one. What he's got to do to change the conditions. Okay. You know, what the coach is advising him on. There's so many things going through his head. Sometimes it's too much and wow. almost a brain overload. It's interesting because he's not talking to the coaches at all. Oh, wait, one, is one going up? No, he can't, can he? Um, 
would would people be right in saying, well, you look, Lizzy Jaw's going so well at the moment. Maybe this is this kind of break could help me. It can, yeah. And then the flip side of the the point earlier is it can disrupt Li Zhijia because he yeah. was in his flow, he's in his rhythm. I mean, that was a very, very comfortable first game, 21-10. Mm. Um, and obviously a 3-1 lead, and we're at 25 minutes, and we're not really at 25 minutes because we've got the interval that yeah. we've had and obviously this delay, so we're probably looking for the first game in this little bit. It was 20 minutes. Yeah, super quick. Yeah. Just because he has been Three, far superior one. so far. Play. Let's see how this progresses now. Wow, that's the kind of reaction we saw from Luke Wong too. Yeah, and placement again. Two, you can see Easy Jar wants it on his forehand here. And it's just perfect, just on the inside of the mm. right hip trapped him. But a lot more aggressive. And this is the, the game that you're going to, he's got to, try, he's got to take on. And then saying oh. that. <laughs> what Four, a shot. And this is what I mean, it's been, oof, it's been devastating so far, Easy Jar. Dancing on the net cord there. Five, two. And this is fine line. Liu Guangzhou knows that he needs to take the game to his opponent, but if you try something too good too early, it turns out to be just a cheap gift. Whoa, similar shot. Yep. Yeah, very, very similar attack, just wasn't quite as powerful. Six, but two. I'm guessing while he may have lost the point, he's he's now looking to do a little bit more, isn't he? He is, but... Mm. Oh. Is it he's, enough? Well, that's the thing, Lee Zijia is just looking too good, to be honest. Um, he's in control of the rallies, although, you know, this is the thing, there's more mistakes coming now. And this fine line with when you're being more aggressive, Seven. you have to do it in a composed, calculated yeah. way. and. Liu Guangzhou almost trying a bit too hard, too hard. and we're seeing that, that could be a result of trailing so much. It is, yeah. You know, he's got to try something different. It, what, he's, what he did in the first game clearly didn't work, and if yeah. he continues that, unless something very strange happens, it's not going to work in the second game. So he's trying to be more aggressive, he's trying to be more proactive. Oh, something broke there. Yeah. Three, seven. Six. Well, what you're not seeing is Li Zhijia, there he is. He's cutting it to stop the warping, right? Just explain that a bit more. Yeah, it's so important because every player in this tournament, every single one will have their racket strung pretty tight just because that's what we're used to. You know, a clean, crisp hit, and when you break a string, the, the tension in the frame it isn't even. Mm. So if you were to leave it, he'll have his, Li Zhijia would have his racket strung very tight. If he was to leave it for the game, there's a chance the, the head could actually explode. Mm. So it, I do think it's, well, it is very important just to cut it out instantly, and it's, it's good, obviously, the umpire's allowed that. How many rackets do you guys really have in your bag? We've obviously already seen one, but it wouldn't be uncommon for two, possibly yeah. three. And if they don't have a stringing service tomorrow, he needs all these rackets to be strung and ready. Four point lead here for Lee Zijia against Lu Guangzhou. out but he's gonna has that clipped the line perhaps but could be a hopeful one he's attempting he's attempting to be more aggressive isn't he 
Yeah, definitely. And it's it's such a fine line because he needs to be more aggressive, but then on it's out, and this is what I mean. He's got to he's got to find a way of being consistent. Yeah. Which we haven't quite seen when he's been tried to be more aggressive because just I'd say four easier mistakes. Mm. And there's such a fine line. He's got to be more aggressive, but then he can't just gift his gift the point to his opponent. And I think it, this is not his natural game to be quite this aggressive. As you said, though, he, he, he probably feels he needs to change it up because... Yep. And that's the thing, sometimes you force it. You just force it that bit too hard because you're not calm and composed because your opponent is frustrating you with what they're doing. say now Lee Jar's almost got Five. a little bit not overconfident but he's just he's allowing now you're going to a bit more time on the shuttle which he doesn't want he doesn't want to give him this time because that was incredible we haven't seen that throughout the match at all no and is he right. going to get this little bit of confidence when your opponent's struggling you just want to kind of keep the pressure on them to keep them in that mm. you know that difficult position they're in Lisa Jar has a losing record against Chinese players in the second round of tournaments. And that is better, and that's just got the crowd going when they see something like that happen. That's what I mean, just giving your opponent that little extra breathing space. And now Lu Guangzhou is getting more time on the shuttle whenever he's in the in a position he's having a better, he's in a better position, he's having more time. And he is a good player, and if you give him too much time, he will come alive as he's starting to do. He's only won two of his last six matches against Chinese players overall in his career. Summer's over. All of them this year, is he, Jeff? Ten, six. Still four points clear here. If you're going to. Again, he has a quick look up at the lights here and a shake of the head we're going to, but it's Lizzie Jia who's up 11-6 in game two, having already taken that first game. It's, it's hard enough as it is when you're already trailing like that, but you, you don't want to be... 12, and I know it's easier six. said than done. We're, we're up in the commentary position, but the unforced errors, you've got to cut them out. Yeah, and especially as most of the time the unforced errors are coming from who going to do. I don't think he's in a bad position. He's on balance. So for me, it's just forcing it slightly. If he's off balance, if he's stretched, then you can kind of understand these mistakes. Right. Right? So Easy Jar's being aggressive and, he, and Seven, who going to do is having to defend, 12. but quite a few of these mistakes coming on overheads in a, in a comfortable position. Oh, hesitation. He was right to take the shot, but it was too late.
straight net, incredibly Somersault. tight. Quite a lot of spin on it as well. Hey. I do feel the game's gone a fraction flat from both players. Cause you've gone to fractionally passive giving his opponent too much time yeah we saw a lot of that didn't we in the first game from Lizzie Jia He's got such a good net, it's so tight. The amount of spin. Let's see. Impossible to get that lift anywhere near the back. Lu Guangzhou. Coming uh, soon, far between for Liu <laughs> Guangzhou. Oh, it's just gone out of play. Over. 16, 10. So, like now, it's just a little bit of a case of Easy Jiao going through the motions to try and finish off this second game. Big lead 17. now, isn't it? Seven points. Oh. Oh. 2020, he defeated Lu Guangzhou in straight. So that was 21-10, 21 16. Oh. Well something like that. Uh, he's not helping himself, is he? Going to do that. No, and I do think it's incredible the turnaround, obviously, as we highlighted earlier from back in June time, how he's transformed himself as a player to have this desire, this hunger, this motivation back again. And his performances have improved so much, Li Zijia, since then. And that was. Uh, Actually, when, when he made that decision, I recall, because he had just hired the coach, hasn't he? Hadn't he? And that, they hadn't started yet together. So there was a bit of uncertainty as to how that was going to pan out. Yeah, and I think it's one of those things. A certain coach can be a good coach, mm. but maybe they're just not quite right for that player. Because the most integral thing is the coach and the player have a connection, have a bond, have an understanding that you can get the best out of the player. And... Yeah, obviously had a coach change, new coach, and it appears he's got things in, in the correct position now for him to, you know, play at this level. If he continues on this path, he's easily going to, well, not easily, but he should get back into top 10 in the world. Big key for him will be getting top eight so he can get a seeding at the big tournaments. Yes. Yeah. First of uh, eight match points saved by Lou. Thank you. It is 
a massive win here for Li Zijia against the players ranked just five places below him. And in fact, it's their biggest, his biggest ever win against Lu Guangzhou. But really, from start to finish, he has been superb, hasn't he, Li Zijia? Yeah, he played really well. Really well throughout the match. Very one-sided encounter. Li Zijia was just far too good today. That was the point, the match point that was converted. Well inside. Very nicely done by Li Zijia. And uh, it would have been a much quicker win had it not been for that little time out to sort himself out. Slight cut in his finger. Li Zijia beats Lu Guangzhou 21-10, 21-12 in 40 minutes. So a good win there in our fifth match of the day. Well, there's a lot more action to come here on court. One, five more matches for you a little bit later on. The action will restart at 2.30 p.m. local time. We'll see you then.